Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be reviewing and summarizing the Sun and Moon Burning Shadow set. And I have reviewed all the newest sets in the Pokemon TCG. In the description of this video, you'll find a playlist I've created for all of those review videos. So the Sun and Moon Burning Shadow set is the 74th set in the English TCG. It is the third Sun and Moon series set, and the official release date for this set was August 4th, 2017. The set is based around Ho-Oh and Necrozma, and it continues to feature 7th generation Pokemon, Pokemon GX, and Alolan Pokemon. So the remainder of this video, I'll be going through sealed products available for Burning Shadows and then summarizing all of the Ultra Rares and Secret Rares. So first thing that I'll do is show a holo card from this set and there are 13 different holo cards in this set. Bottom left hand corner for all Sun and Moon series cards is where the set symbol and then rarity is located. Bottom left hand corner there you can see the set symbol for Burning Shadows. And as you can see, 147 cards in the base set, 169 total cards. Released on the official release date of this set would be two theme decks, Rock Steady and then Luminous Frost. I can show both theme decks, and theme decks are normally $11.99 to $12.99 in stores, 60 cards in each theme deck. And I am reviewing and giving away both of these theme decks on my channel in the near future. So here is the Luminous Frost theme deck, a water and fire type theme deck. It is based around Alolan Ninetales. And on the back of the box you can see the deck checklist. Rock Steady is the other theme deck for Burning Shadows, based around Lycanroc. It is a fighting and psychic type theme deck. And then here is the deck list. Booster packs from this set are $4.19 a piece in stores. Four different cover artworks are available on the booster packs. Marshadow, Necrozma, Tapu Fini, and then Ho-Oh. Each pack has 12 total cards, 10 cards from Burning Shadows, one online TCG code card, and then one basic energy card. The card trick in the packs would be four and then two. The fifth and sixth cards from the back of the pack are the rare and reverse hollows. The actual booster packs have those four exact same artwork on them. Let me go through these quickly. Then booster boxes for Burning Shadows look like so. And they are between $90 and $100 a piece online. 36 booster packs per box. And then on the official release date, a few different blister packs. There were two one-pack blisters. These are $4.99 a piece in stores. This one features Kamala, a Burning Shadows booster pack, online TCG code card, and a coin. SM41 is the number on this Black Star promo. And then there is a Jeng Moo one pack blister. SM40 is the card number. And then there are two three pack blisters for Burning Shadows. Each three pack blister includes the three Burning Shadows booster packs, a coin, online TCG code card, and then one of two Black Star promos, either a Lolan Meowth, SM43, or one that features Cosmog. SM42. And then the last item that I'll show for sealed products with Burning Shadows is the Elite Trainer Box. Just one Elite Trainer Box with this set. It features Necrozma. And these are $39.99 in stores. They include eight booster packs and then a whole host of other items to play the TCG. I'll go through all of the Ultra Rares and Secret Rares in the set now. Again, this Friday I'll be doing a How Much Are Burning Shadows Pokemon Cards Worth video. I already showed the holo cards. On average, those are about 1 in 6 packs. 13 total holo cards in the set. And something strange with this set that hasn't happened in the past is that there are a lot of cards that aren't available in GX, GX Full Art, and GX Rainbow Rare form. Some are only available in two of the three. And I'll mention those when I get to those types of cards. But what they did is the cards that aren't in this set are going to be available in Black Star promo form in the future in specific promotional Pokemon TCG products. 
So the first type of card I'll talk about would be the Pokemon GX. And there are 12 different regular GX cards in this set. And I'll list the 12 on the screen. Before I do that, here's a look at two of the better ones from this set. Gardevoir GX is probably the best GX card in the set for the TCG. Charizard GX, very collectible. Just a regular GX, looks very similar to the GX cards in previous sets. But the 12 are... Glycopod, Charizard, Ho-Oh, Salazzle, Tapu Fini, Necrozma, Machamp, Marshadow, Alolan Muck, Darkrai, Gardevoir, and Noivern. And Tapu Bulu and Lycanroc are available in other GX form, but not in regular GX form. GX Full Art cards are next, and on average you get one GX Full Art card per booster box, or one in 36 booster packs. There are 13 total GX Full Art cards in this set, and they are Glycopod, Tapu Bulu, Ho-Oh, Salazzle, Tapu Fini, Necrozma, Machamp, Marshadow, Alolan Muck, Darkrai, Gardevoir, Noivern, and Lycanroc. And as you notice, there is not a Charizard GX Full Art in this set. The last type of GX that I'll show is the Rainbow Rare, that is the official English term. Hyper Rare is also used. That's more a Japanese term. And there are 13 GX Rainbow Rare cards in this set. The one that does not include a GX Rainbow Rare would be Ho-Oh. So the 13 are Glycopod, Tapu Bulu, Charizard, Salazzle, Tapu Fini, Necrozma, Machamp, Marshadow, Alolan Muck, Darkrai, Gardevoir, Noivern, and then Lycanroc. And these are pretty tough to pull, about 1 in 72 booster packs or 1 in 2 booster boxes. Next up would be Full Art Trainer cards, and again about 1 in 36 booster packs. Usually in a booster box you'll get 1 to 2 Full Art cards, whether that be a Full Art Trainer or GX Full Art. And there are 6 different Full Art Trainer cards in this set. Acerola, Guzma, Kiawe, Plumeria, Sophocles, and Wick. And Guzma is easily the best Full Art Trainer in this set. So the last type of card that I'll show would be the Secret Rare Trainer or Energy Card. And these are very tough to pull from packs. They're about 1 in 3 booster boxes or 1 in 108 booster packs. There are 9 different Secret Rare Trainer and Energy Cards in this set. They are Fire Type Energy, Darkness Type Energy, Fairy Type Energy, Body Building Dumbbells, Choice Band, Escape Rope, Multi Switch, Rescue Stretcher, and Super Scoop Up. And definitely some valuable ones. Choice Band is the most valuable of those. And then last thing that I'll mention is the pre-release cards for this set are Saviper, Zygarde, Crabominable, and Beware. So that's really all you need to know about the Burning Shadow set. If you have additional questions, feel free to comment on this video or message me and I'll always try and reply. But again, this Friday I'll be doing a How Much Are Burning Shadows Pokemon Cards Worth video. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I have done several Burning Shadows openings already on my channel and I will be opening up several more Burning Shadows products in the future. And make sure to check out my Burning Shadows giveaway if you have not already ready. So that concludes this video. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.